Hey guys, Dylan from Noble Records coming at you with another video. Uh, usually if I get a question asked to me repeatedly, I'll do a video on it. That way I can kind of direct people towards the video. And obviously if somebody's asking it, a lot of people are thinking it. So I want to make a video. People always ask me, why is vinyl better? Why are records better? And of course this video, I'm going to tell you little bit why I think so. First off, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, uh, we do a lot of informational videos trying to keep people in the know with records, how to clean them, how to store them, uh, certain things to look for, recommendations, all that stuff. So subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything and also follow us on Instagram at Noble Records. We have a record store in Matthews, North Carolina where we buy big collections, recommend records, things like that. We always like to stay in touch with folks online. Community is a big part of what we do. So follow us there, follow us here, leave us a comment, a like, all that stuff so we can stay engaged with you guys. So anyways, when I was a kid, right, I it was early 90s and I was looking for CDs because that was the thing, you know, but I couldn't afford them. You know, CDs were $15, $20 at the store. And so all the music that I liked was the classic rock stuff. I was just getting into that. I grew up in like a super religious family where we didn't, we only listened to like gospel music. So when I first started cutting my teeth in rock and roll, I was looking for, you know, the Zeppelin and the Black Sabbath and all that stuff. And I was just learning it, but the CDs were really, really expensive. But I noticed that the records were kind of around at yard sales and flea markets and thrift stores. And they were like a dollar or, or less. And so I was like, well, screw it, I'll just start collecting records. And then it started this whole huge thing in my life. So obviously, you see behind me all these records. For me, records are a huge part of my life. Um, I own a record store, obviously. It's a big part of everything that I do. But um, I also understand people that they don't get it. They don't get why records are such a big deal. So um, I'm going to go through a few points of why I really love records and then tell you kind of why records are better. Um, first of all, when I was back in that time, learning new artists, all the things, I knew about the band Cream, right? I knew about Clapton. I knew about the band Cream. That's all I knew at that time, really, was like the basics. And then I saw this record at a thrift store, uh, Cream, Disraeli Gears. Beautiful. And this artwork, I was like, I mean, I remember my jaw dropping, and I'm like 11, you know, super young. And I see this, and oh, I mean, obviously, you buy it for a buck. And I take it home and it just totally blew my mind. But one of the things I really love about records is that when you're out looking for them, you go to a record store, you go anywhere. I mean, oh, to a record store, flea market, thrift store, wherever you like to look for records, you flip through the album art and you see things. And there's things you, that you don't have any idea what it is. Even now to this day, I have bought literally over a million records in my lifetime. And I still see things every day that I've never seen before that I have no idea what it is. And you look at the back and you read the liner notes and then you kind of build off of your knowledge of music and all this stuff like musicians and all that. And you decide whether you want that record or not. And so for me, like such a huge part of it is going and looking through records. And it's even bigger than the music itself. You know, it's, it's the ritual of going out, talking to people, meeting other folks. Uh, and also like just looking at the artwork and, and trying to figure out if it's something that you might be into. And so that's a huge thing. And I, I pulled this one out just because I remember that time when I didn't know this set record existed and I saw the cover and I was like, you know, and it blew my mind. Now, obviously that's one of the, the greatest uh, psychedelic rock records of all time. But uh, at the time I didn't know. And so now like, you know, when, we're, when I'm going around to record stores and all that stuff, I love just the feeling of looking through records and, and maybe finding, getting the possibility of something being there that I don't know what it is or whatever. So this is another example of that. This is um, a 45. So this is a band called The Vickers. It's a kind of a garage type of uh, band out of Tennessee. Super rare. Um, before I found this copy, there was no picture of these guys on the internet anywhere. So I, I uploaded the picture. I, I put on my other YouTube channel kind of a rip of the music so you could hear it. But uh, otherwise, it was completely unknown. Nobody even knew about it. It wasn't out there. You couldn't hear it. So that's one thing I really like about records is when you find something that isn't anywhere else. Like, you know, technology is vast and almost everything's on the Internet, but not everything. So that's one cool one. This is another one that I found uh, earlier this year. This is called Blue Backbone, uh, the Woodle Brothers Band. 
this is um like an unknown record that nobody knows about, like hardly anybody. There's hardly any trace of it online. You can't listen to this anywhere. I'm probably gonna rip this one and put it on my other YouTube channel just so people can hear it, just because I like to put things out there that aren't don't exist online. But it's just one of those things. So I picked it up, I saw it out, and I was like, there's nothing on this, but there's a few things like I'm reading some of the song titles, things like that. And I'm like, I think this might be something I like. Took a chance on it, brought it home, and it rips. It doesn't. It's this might look like a gospel record or something to you. No, it's killer. It's like uh, garagey rock with a little bit of like jazz type of guitar solos, and it. it's really, really cool. Really, but it's one of those things you wouldn't even know it existed. So, also another big part of it is just the feel of a record in your hands. You know, uh, this is one of those records. I just got an upgrade. This is a nice copy. I've, I've had a ton of copies of this over the years. This is a really, really nice copy um, of this Dr. John in the right place. Look at it though. It folds out. It's got this really incredible iconic artwork um, on, on both sides. This is a super nice copy, but I'm always looking for an upgrade, looking for nicer things. This one's beautiful on the inside. You know, you have the inner sleeve from that time showing all the different albums that are coming out and all that stuff. Um, and so this was, this is just, Picking up a record, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I'll pick up a record and, and throw it on the turntable and sit back and listen to it and look at the artwork and try to get a picture in my head of what that artist wanted to convey in that, in that, you know, piece of music. You know, the artwork is a huge part of that. Um, another part of it is obviously a lot of people talk about sound quality being a huge part of it. Like this one, I just, and I got all these records, I just picked a handful of things that can you know, kind of show the point. This new Genesis reissue, Selling Anyone by the Pound, Analog Productions just came out with this for the 75th anniversary of Atlantic. This is a 2LP 45 RPM, like tip top audio, all audio file, best quality you could get of this album. This is one of those albums I've not listened to it over the years. Um, I might've heard a couple off of it here and there, but I'm not a huge Genesis guy. Don't listen to them a whole lot. Uh, but I know that Chad Castle, the guy that runs his label, he's a, he's a good buddy of mine. He's like, you got to pick these up. They're so good. Picked them up, started listening to them. Just incredible way to experience a record. But like, you know, they do a lot of jazz reissues, things like that. So they're improving the sound quality on some albums that are, are they just sound incredible. So it's a, a way to listen to music that has its own specific sound. You know, like I have this sound system that you know, costs a lot of money in it. And I put a lot of time into it and I try to, to tweak it and get it just right, just how I like it, you know? And it, it delivers very well. It sounds incredible. You can start off, some people start off with just like a suitcase uh, turntable that's got built-in speakers. That's why I started. I started with a very small, it wasn't a suitcase, but it was an all-in-one type thing with the internal speakers, it sounded terrible. But for me, I really enjoyed having that and then kind of stepped on up over the years to now I have this. But um, it's, it's one of those things that some people collect it very casually where they don't really think that much about it. They're just like, oh, records are cool. I'll listen to them, it's fine. And some people are insane like me and they collect like every day and that's all they think about and all that stuff. And that's fine, you know? There's a lot of people that spend money on golf or uh, sports cars or whatever. You know, this is my hobby. This is what I, I like to do. But uh, more than anything, I like it because I like it. I can't express to you how much I just like it because I just do. Um, I'm not going to sit here and argue with you over whether CDs sound better than vinyl. In my opinion, I've listened to a lot of CDs. I've listened to a lot of vinyl. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if it does or not. I, I'm, I'll be completely honest with you. I believe that vinyl sounds better. And I know that my my system, my sound system, this is the best way I'm personally going to hear music because my sound system sounds great. And um, I have this very nice CD player. I have had audiophile CDs that I've listened to. To me, it's just not there. Um, the, the warmth of it's just not there. The depth of it is just not there. With CDs, it's, it's, not the sa it's just not the same for me. And I can close my eyes and hear the difference. But all that to say, I think you have to have a really, really expensive sound system to be able to tell the difference between CDs and vinyl. I think that if you're talking about, 
it's also like apples and oranges most of the time because if you're talking about like a really nice turntable versus a boombox CD or something that you listen to your in your car, you got to compare apples with apples. You know what I mean? You can't just say, oh, well, CDs sound better than records. It's also a big part of that's the equipment that you put into it. So um, there's you can cut you can split hairs with that, and I don't want to go into this huge debate in the comments section over which one's better because I really don't care. These records sound, they're the best sound I've ever gotten out of anything. They sound amazing, right? So first of all, the reason I started collecting records was not because they sounded better. It's just because I liked them better and they were cheaper. So as time has moved on, for me, the whole thing is there's no community behind CDs that I've found. CDs, MP3, streaming, whatever. There's no community behind that. I get so much community out of records, going to a record store, I'll run a record store, people coming in every day or weekly that we have conversations, we talk about stuff, I recommend stuff, they recommend stuff. There's such a community there, it's such a culture for me and a lot of other people that go to record stores. That's one big thing for me. Uh, also, the way that the records feel in your hands, it's a real tactile experience that you experience. In a, it's, it's not like streaming. Now, I do stream all the time. When I'm out and about, I have AirPods, I stream. If I'm ever uh, going for a run or whatever, I'm always listening to music, always streaming. I listen to it in my car, all that stuff. I do all that stuff, but I don't get obsessed about streaming. I don't dream about streaming at night. I dream about finding records at night all the time. So it's, it's not that I don't participate in those things. I think streaming is very important for if you use it for when you, when you want to use it. But the main thing is music. The main thing is if you're getting that experience out of music, if you're getting something that you really love with music. So are records better? That's for you to decide. You know, for me, they are. I really like records. I like everything about a record. I really do. Everything about records I love. I'm obsessed with them. I always have been. I always will be. I've sold my collection three or four times. I tried to get rid of them. They keep bringing me back. I can't get rid of it. It's gonna be in my life forever. I love records. I love everything about a record. I don't feel that way about cassettes. I don't feel that way about CDs. I don't feel that way about streaming. Records are it for me. But for you, it might not be that way. For you, they might not grab you that way. You may not feel that. And I think it's a case by case deal. I like records. If I really had to boil it down to one reason, I just like them because I like them. I like them because like, I remember being a kid and having no friends and going home and listening to records and just it being everything to me. I loved it. I still do. I, I really do. So it's a whole culture. It's the sound. It's the experience. It's it's knowing where that piece of vinyl, like if you find an old record, where it's been. Right here, you know, it's autographed from one of the brothers that played on this record. Like it says uh, to Marilyn and family, thanks. You know, they probably saw them in concert and and he, they probably had this record and they remember the time they saw that concert and, and that I found that at a Goodwill and then it came to my house and I'm listening to it thinking where's this record been all that stuff that's so much charm to me but are records better that is completely up for you to decide for yourself if you like them that much if they matter to you because the sound quality is debatable some people say cds are better i don't think so but that's fine it's whatever it doesn't matter to me records are better to you cds may be better there's no sense in arguing about it it's just what you like more is what you like the sound of c there's a big argument that people records don't actually sound better technically it's just that people like the sound better whatever i like it so it's just one of those things it either grabs you or it don't like if i'm holding a comic book i don't give a crap about a comic book I could not care less about a comic book. I'm holding my hands. I'm sure, it's cool. I'll read through it, whatever. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have comic books when I was a kid. They don't do anything for me at all. Some people are nuts about it, you know. And that's all. And they they think about comic books like I think about records. It's just it's such an individual thing. If it's important to you, it's important to you. If it's not, it's not. It don't matter. But that's why records are better for me and a lot of other people that I know I've asked countless people why do you like records and they all say pretty much all that stuff you know this is why I like it I like it because I like it the sound quality the story behind it all that stuff that's why record collectors collect records that's why I collect records that's why I like them but leave in the comments why you collect records if you like them if you don't get it whatever but I wanted to make this video just to answer the question why are records better I'll leave it up to you to decide whether they actually are better Hit that subscribe button. If you like what we do, check out our website. We sell exclusives. So what we do is 
records that are super rare like this is a record called stonewall the original copies of this go for last one went for sixteen thousand dollars uh but we put out one on this red and black splatter vinyl that you can get on our website that is not sixteen thousand dollars uh magic ships and other psychedelic records we did an exclusive of on green vinyl um, we're from North Carolina, so this is Brotherhood of Peace Cutting Loose, a Southern rock record on white and gold vinyl. That's on our website, and you can only get that color from us. Um, and a few more, Gary Dovecchio War, we still have a few copies of, but we do these exclusive releases every month. So if you like what we do, check out our exclusives on our website. I'll put that down in the description of this video. Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Instagram. We'll see you next time.